Space is incredible, but it's tough on the human body. Astronauts face wild challenges up there, and when they come back to Earth, things get even weirder. Let's dive into what happens to their bodies after space. In space, there's no gravity pulling you down. Sounds fun, right? But it's a workout for your body. Without resistance, muscles weaken fast. Astronauts can lose up to 20% of their muscle mass on long missions. Bones get brittle too, shedding calcium like a crumbling spaceship. NASA says astronauts lose 1 to 2% of bone density per month up there. Ever thought why astronauts look puffy-faced in space? Zero gravity sends fluids rushing upward. Blood and water pool in their heads, giving them moon face. Back on Earth, though, gravity yanks it all down again. Cue dizziness, balance issues, and even fainting as their bodies readjust. Space isn't just empty. It's a radiation hot zone. Cosmic rays blast through astronauts, raising their risk of cancer and damaging DNA. One study estimates a Mars mission could expose them to radiation levels 700 times higher than on Earth. Their bodies are basically cosmic punching bags. Space messes with their eyes. Fluid pressure in the skull can flatten eyeballs and tweak optic nerves. Some astronauts come back with blurry vision that never fully recovers. Back on Earth, it's not over. Astronauts hit the gym hard to rebuild muscle and bone. It can take months or even years to feel normal. Scott Kelly, after 340 days in space, said his legs felt like jelly and his skin burned from sensitivity. Space leaves a mark. So what happens to astronauts' bodies after space? They adapt, they struggle, they recover, but they're never quite the same. It's the price of pushing humanity's limits. If you love this cosmic dive, smash that like button, comment, and subscribe.